What's up, everybody, and welcome to... I can't read. Anarchy Reigns and a lot of bacon. Uh, this was released, at the time of recording this, at least, about a week ago or so. Less than a week ago. I think this came out on the 5th and was one of the first new games released in the year. And I looked at it and I was like, I don't really know if I want to record it. And I didn't even end up buying it on release day. And I played a little bit the other day and thought it was fun in its own merits. It's nothing too spectacular. It's a little repetitive, but I don't know. I don't really mind it too much. It's it's like, you know, what I think about F most FPS games that, you know, you play it for a couple hours. It's fun. Um, it's nothing too spectacular unless it's, you know, something like Far Cry 3, which is actually a really good FPS game. It wasn't solely an FPS game, but you kind of know what I'm getting at. But this game is kind of uh, a brawler type game. You go around fighting stuff. Apparently this game came out uh, between six months and a year ago in Japan, yet never made it to the States at least. Um, I don't know what the reason was for that, but it was 30 bucks I think when it came out. It was 30 or 40 bucks, which is pretty good since most games that come out now are, you know, like 60 bucks or 50 bucks if you get it on the PC, at least in USD. I don't know about the rest of the world, but... Um, and it also has the main character from Mad World, I think? Which was a Wii U game, or not a Wii U game, was a Wii game. I think it was exclusive to the Wii. And it was one of the more, you know, violent uh, M-rated titles that the Wii had. Though I could be incorrect about him actually being from that game. I never played it. Unfortunately, I ended up missing it for one reason or another. So, correct me if I'm wrong, I think he's from that game. It would be... It would possibly be nice to go back and play that and see what it was about and maybe record it. But you'd have to let me know if you wanted to see it. So, I'm not expecting a whole ton of people to be interested in this playthrough but um, I talked about this in I think it was my Lego Lord of the Rings thing I've already played a little bit of this like I said so it's not like I'm jumping in blind uh, I don't expect this to do super well but I'll have fun with it anyway and it's something I want to put up on my channel and therefore I'll do it I try not to do only games that I think will get good views I, I like to dabble and if I think a game is fun and feel like recording it then I will but I will tell you, starting a new campaign will overwrite your existing campaign save data. Goodbye, previous campaign. Unfortunately, it seems like uh, unless I pick a different uh, hard drive to save to, that I won't be able to play my other campaign, but that's not really that big of a deal. Who cares? Anyway, we're going to play on normal. And let the game begin. Also, I have no idea who the hell that is. P-Star, I guess. A 12-hour standoff at the Metro Altambra Bank on Wall Road ended when the Bureau of Public Safety High Crimes Division stormed the bank, killing five gunmen inside. Local organizations have broadly praised the BPS for the swiftly executed rescue operation, during which none of the 48 hostages were killed, though two were reported to have sustained serious injuries. What's funny is that, like, the logo that's used for this game really reminds me of Borderlands. Not sure if that was intentional, but holy pool shark, Batman! Insanity. Special Director Nikolai Vlieg, High Crimes Division, spoke to us about the rescue operation. Chuck? Two of the hostages were severely injured, but you managed the rescue with no casualties. You must be pleased. Can you comment on the operation's success? No. Which is to say, we make many options, we pick best strategy, we make happen. Like every time. No thanks. I quit. Oh man! I got the lighter out for no reason! Hey, everything's peachy. Yeah, well, I got here in one piece. You check the data I sent? I even do this thing, which is kind of like Borderlands a little bit. Maximilian Caxton was your direct 
Mr. Superior until his arrest three months ago, correct? Sources tell us that his escape was an inside job, and the murder charges were false. So can you tell us what really happened? What is this woman's gossip show? No comment. This man, you know? He sells gold nugget here. He's worth 10,000. Now you know? He says he doesn't know, he doesn't know. And this isn't Mill Valen. Aren't you out of your jurisdiction? Jack! Dun dun dun! Jack came in. Jack the Chaser. Huh. Nice eye. BS guys get all the perks. You get off on looking through everyone's dirty laundry. It's BPS. Ah. Uh -huh. You chase Max too, though. Wait, Nikolai. I've just accessed security locks. Seems like Max has changed his look. Not for the better. The biometrics check out. It's him. Dummy is a Brosny. I already sent. Mm. It is him. And he still has tech. So he is dangerous. Yes, we know this. Look, comrade. What the that seems rather illegal, but okay. Doesn't seem like this is the most of, uh... Doesn't seem like this is the best of establishments anyway. Probably a lot of illegal activity going on here. Perhaps we'll, uh, get back to him on that. Anyway, I'm gonna go with the black side first. Because I like black. Fuck that white side. We're going black side first. I also have no idea how long this game is as a whole, so... We'll see. At least knowing the basics and whatnot... Should give me a bit of an advantage. Uh, the game is somewhat difficult, I would say. It was a little bit more difficult than I, than I thought it would be going in. I expected it to be a tad easier, but... Uh, the game will punish you if you fuck up. Quite a few interesting characters in this game as well. We'll get to that. Even though they have strength in numbers, I would not be messing with a guy of this size. That seems rather stupid. But, uh, Street Brawl, explore the stage and earn points. As you collect points, various missions will become available. There are two types of missions, main missions and free missions. Free missions can be replayed as many times as you'd like to earn points. Completing main missions will advance the story. That's what, uh, a little confusing to me at first. I was like, that's kind of a, kind of an odd, uh, Odd style to go with, in that uh, nothing is really unlocked in the beginning, but you have to play like these random side missions to continuously Let's see. Okay. Oh, that works too. All right. You have to play these like random side missions to continually unlock stuff. So more points will unlock more missions. Walk into the mission circle to begin your selected mission. Press back to open the mission select screen. Selecting a mission will display an on-screen arrow guiding you to that mission's mission circle. Amazing. Multi-kill. I just thought it was a little weird at first, especially because the game kind of forces you to play the free missions. Uh, possibly several several times, I have the hiccups. Replenishes a small amount of health, thank you. And this is a tutorial, which we're not going to be doing, because I've already, I've already done the tutorial, and it's not exactly the most entertaining thing. But... Yeah, you might have to do a couple of these uh, multiple times, especially if you don't get a high enough score on it. They go by medals. It's like platinum, gold, silver, and bronze. I don't know if there's anything lower than bronze, and I don't know if there's anything higher than platinum. 
But pretty much if you get a platinum medal, then you'll probably advance to the next mission. Twisted beings mutated by the plethora of chemical weapons deployed during the last great war and the vile cocktail of pollutants released into the atmosphere by emerging nations. When some semblance, while some semblance of humanity remains, one glance at their modeled, modeled skin, septic blue blood, and brutal temperament reveals that they have long since ceased being human. Random generic thug guys that bleed blue and, you know, whatnot, so. Amazing. But this is uh, a lot of the game. It's a lot of, you know, random, senseless fighting. I find it fun. And uh, perhaps you find it fun, too. I actually don't know how many people picked up this game, but it's 30 bucks in the States. If you haven't played it yet, I would recommend doing so if you have, you know, 30 extra dollars lying around and you're really looking to get a new game. I found it fun for what it was worth. I thought it was worth the uh, the 30 bucks. You know, I'd recommend it. Especially if you like this kind of stuff. I know I know some people do. I know a lot of people don't though. It might just be too repetitive and not enough story. Also the music is like constantly blaring like that. It seems like each stage sort of has its own theme. Like there's a lot of rap music on this one. And then uh, once you get to one of the other stages, it ends up being like a lot of J-pop, I think. I can't remember. That's what it feels like. Or seems like. Who the hell else? Oh, God. Frag out! I don't want to be on fire, damn it. Oh! Throw the anarchy already! I don't foresee myself getting a lot of... Uh... Wow, what an asshole. I don't foresee myself getting a lot of achievements, because I, I think I picked up quite a few of them just by playing through the couple hours that I had. Trying to make sure I actually wanted to play this, but here we are. Mutants can be killed by burning their bodies or destroying their heads. Hence, many kill seekers arm themselves with flamethrowers, Molotov cocktails, or flamethrower equipped flying platforms. The men who volunteer for these roles are often referred to as pyro kill seekers. And it's time to fuck a day up here. Whoop. I want this tire, because this tire is actually really good, bitch. Oh my god! I hit a barrel. That wasn't good. Pick it up, damn it. Does this fuck me up too? Oh, the barrel like fell. What the hell? Oh, whatever. Here comes a man on a cart. Where's that asshole at? Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I don't know where that guy with the cart's at, unless he like... Oh, there he is. I was about to say... Malfunction! Need to kill these guys as fast as possible. I'd like a gold on this. That'd be... That'd be great. Oh, frag out! A gold would be great. Let's see if I can actually get some kills with this now, damn it. There you go. Amazing! Make sure everyone's fucking dead. Come here. I also swear in this game a lot, which I like. Some people would say they swear too much. I say it's just enough. A faction of kill seekers dwelling in the distant badlands that have gradually mutated over the course of generations, warping themselves into monsters. Not even the broadest interpretation of the word human could describe these creatures now. Devoid of intelligence, they are impossibly large and beastly powerful. Also known as, you know, like the fucking super powerful guys that you don't want to fuck with, but you have to because the game forces you to, so. He's already dead though. Two minutes and 22 seconds left. I didn't die at all. Pretty good. What did I get? Gold medal. Nice. And the next mission has been unlocked. Points earned in each mission will be added to the point total shown on the results screen. Thank you. Successfully completing a mission will increase the amount of bonus points you earn. There you go. Main mission one, the King of Altambra. We will go do that. I'm actually glad that it only took one try to, not to complete, but to get, like, gold on. I like to shoot for gold medals, because I'm, you know, I don't, I don't set the bar too high to go for platinum, because, you know, who sets the bar that high? Overachievers set the bar that high. Do I look like an overachiever? No. No, I don't. If you set the bar low, then you'll be pleasantly surprised when you complete things well. See? That's how you do it. Big Bull! 
people saw you got on your arm, I'd say you're Mr. Jack Kamen. I feel like a fucking celebrity in this town. F-bomb. Who the fuck are you? Another F-bomb. Hey, 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 not cool, old man, not cool! If you don't know the big move on this town, you're gonna get gone. I'll tell you, you're gonna get gone. And nobody walks these streets without the bosses say so. Nobody. Jack, Jack, Jack. Your reputation precedes you. What say we lock horns? What say you fuck off? How about we lock dicks instead? Too far? For this. Too bad. On my ranch, you play by my rules, or I put you out to pasture. Permanently. Oh shit. Now you're talking my language. I think it's time you get nailed. That just goes in line with my whole locking dick things. Anyway. I should probably try to keep the controller away from the microphone so you can't hear my random tapping of random bullshit. No one wants to hear that over and over, but it's like Gears of War. Bunch of big, muscly guys. This guy's got a chainsaw. Okay. Yes, let me send all of my thugs after you. A kill seeker splinter group that has declared allegiance to Big Bull, the self-styled king of Alhambra. Members of the gang wear black and mark themselves with Bull's trademark cow skull symbol. Outstanding. They'll die just the same, trust me. It's not gonna be that difficult. Here you go. Whoop! Chainsaw! You guys are fighting for the wrong dude, trust me. Trust me when I say that. You guys are fighting for the wrong man. Fight for me! I can offer you better clothing. <laughs> 